Welcome back to Maui Mallard and Cold Shadow. We got nowhere else to go but up in level 5. And this is the test of duckhood. Uh, once again, this level introduces the Mudrakes once more, uh, as they are testing us to form an alliance, because apparently they're the only ones that know where Shaboom Shaboom is. Uh, which makes me question why they don't go get it themselves, but whatever, we'll play along for now. So this level is mostly vertical base. Uh, we'll be climbing to the top of the tree on our right, and we'll be proceeding to the next phase of the test. So apparently the first phase is just climbing, which we've already done time and time again, so it shouldn't be too hard. There is, however, one new little thing that's in this level, and it's a vine spring, I'm going to call it. Cold Shadow can't make use out of it, but Maui can, because it will clinch onto his bottom and it will send him flying. So I kind of like the design for this maze-like uh, treetop village or something rather than other. I'm not I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, it's I kind of like this design over the Mega Drive version a little bit for like only one advantage that the level will put some flooring underneath you when you uh, move to a certain point. So that way, when you, you when you uh, you mess up a little bit you don't fall all the way back down to the bottom. And you're going to see that in the Mega Drive version, where uh, if, you make a, if, if you make a mistake, you could potentially fuck yourself up all the way back to the very start of the level. That's probably the only thing I like about this level. Other than that, it's, it's pretty much just standard affair that we've been through uh, the entire game. Luckily, the, the rest of the game has more, you know, unique stuff going on uh, outside of just its standard, let's have one platforming section, so that way we can, you know, say that it's a platforming game and then put in gimmick levels to the very towards of the end of the level. And then we have the uh, other instance where voice acting can be heard, uh, but this is the first time in the Super Nintendo version. Uh, I can't really see much difference in between the versions other than it, it sounds a little, a little better, but it, it's essentially the same. Speaking of gimmick levels, this one has a very nasty one, to say the least. It's not nearly as bad as 4-3, but... It is, uh, it's kind of obnoxious in the way that it, it does it. Uh, you'll come to see it, but uh, I'll, keep, I'll keep quiet about it until then. Alright, stage two time, and uh, apparently we can't go forward. Well darn, where do we go now? Maybe backwards? Nope, not there either. Well, there is this dangling thing in the middle of the stage, maybe we have to touch that. Let's find out. So, I have to ask you, how do you feel about bungee cording? Also, how do you feel about running into a whirling tornado and spinning yourself into mud tricks because that's the entire point of this stage is to reach the bottom of the level touch that tornado and then run into mud rakes. that's it yeah the stage doesn't end until all the mud rakes have been 
uh, knocked off their original platforms. So, uh, uh, in context to what's going on, it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, I don't really know what this is testing in terms of duck hood, but uh, it will make a little more sense as we go along, but for now, it doesn't make any freaking sense at all. And I am on the verge of dying, so I'm playing a little cautiously. Just trying to get this one last guy. I uh, make that... Okay, now it's the last guy. Once they're down to like one or two, it's really tough, especially when they're like far apart, because uh, you have to kind of like gauge on where they might be in order to nail them. But that's the end of the stage. It was, it's short and it's very gimmicky, but hey, it, it, at least it's over. Well, hot dog, we get to do it one more time. Isn't this great? Well, at least the level designers decided to give us extra health to compensate. So, you might not notice it yet, but this is an escort mission. Can you figure out what we're going to be escorting? If you said the Mudrick's at the bottom of this pit, yes, that's exactly it. So, we have to escort eight Mudrakes. I counted them, too. Uh... We have to escort them all the way to the end of this freaking maze of spikes and pointy things and sharp objects. All the way to this tree branch that says, to the frog. We'll find out more about the frog later in the level. Um, so, if you ever wanted to hear Mally just scream in pain throughout the entire level, then this is the stage for you. Because it is hard as heck to turn those corners on this bungee cord. I, I don't know if it helps or not, but I usually like to hold up or down depending on where I'm trying to uh, curve my uh, self. So this is going to take a long time and it's really boring to watch, so I'm going to speed it up here. Well, at least we're done with all the bungeeing. Now it's on to uh, other things, right? Son of a bitch. Well, I lied to you. It turns out we gotta do more bungeeing. But I guarantee you this is the last time we're gonna touch this bungee cord. And. This isn't a uh, escort mission at all. In fact, there's no going back and forth or anything like that. We have to make it to the end bungee courting because I guess nothing else. We couldn't think of anything else uh, to make another stage. So, hey, what the heck? So there's not much different here other than that there's a route now that we can grab onto to stop ourselves from bouncing around. 
other than that, it's pretty much just more bouncing all over the place. Uh, if you're going for all 100% of these uh, treasures, then uh, I recommend you collect as many health items as you can. Builds this stuff. And how did they build this stuff? Some of this stuff is suspended in midair. Ugh. I can't figure it out for the life of me, but it looks like we're at the end. We're getting on a really long route here. Just gotta get rid of this one mudrake that somehow is able to balance itself on this route. And here we are, we're at the end. Um, I'm not exactly sure why there are health in ammo pickups, it's not like those are going to carry over with you, but, uh, hey, whatever. Hey, you got extra assets to throw around, why don't you just throw them all the way at the end? And now it's time to meet the frog. And here we are, we're at the frog. And, um, apparently he doesn't seem to be doing anything. And we also have some mudricks that are looking in on us to make sure we do our job, so let's murder this thing. Holy crap, that's kind of brutal and, and gruesome. Holy shit. And to think this is a kid's game of all things. Yep, that's right. We're going to be sacrificing all of these mud drakes. And technically we are in the right because they tried to sacrifice us first. We'll see how much they like it. This is the price they paid for trying to throw Maui Mallard in a volcano. And, you know, it's not like anybody else is going to know. Come to think of it, there is, this is the one point in the game that where the two versions of the same game differ in terms of plot. And we'll get more into that when we get to the Mega Drive version, but I want to keep... I want you to think about that uh, in terms of what, what's going on here. And that's level. I hope you join me next time. See ya.